Hello? Um, I'm looking for Mr. Blackwood. Can you guys help me? Uh, he's a... Uh, an... Hello? Am I in the wrong place? A killer knew what he was doing. A clean strike. And deep. But who did he kill? Ah, uh, this is an Evernote. No. We have warned you, yet you still return. This is our final message. Go back underwater or die. Reed Heights is under our protection. The police won't help you. No one will. Interesting. Looks like we got a case of fish haters in our midst. Clad in the... Clad in a hood and all. Interesting. But let's hope for their sake that they didn't kill... They didn't kill Ebernote. Otherwise, they're in for a heap of trouble. Oh. More Innsmouthers. Oh. Probably shouldn't stay in the water. Um... Hold on, let me look around here first. Um, there's some stuff in here. But... Nothing else of value, though. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, yeah, I know. Upstairs. Obviously, where else would it be? Hmm. Nobody home. Oh. No, this is an Evernote. No. Where could he be? Hello? C A X X I V. The one savior will seal the gates. N E X M M C I I I. Hundreds will fall while one succeeds. A M U M X X X I sorry M C X X I the will of the one will break the cycle D M L L X X I I for there can o there can be only one J R T X C V I one to pass through All right then thank you spirits helpful as always Someone shot this place up good. Hmm. Were they looking for something, or... Just... Were they just looking for some senseless violence? Someone shot this place up good. Oh yeah, from this side too. Yeah, there's quite the battle in here. <sighs> Alright. Let's look at... Oh. Um... Anything of interest here? No. Right, let's go back to this corpse. It's not Evernote, but... Is there anything else to go on? Anything at all? Oh! To Professor Doe. I appreciate your quick response. It's unfortunate the meeting in person would implicate us both. Your hallucinations do indeed sound unusual, and the asylum hacks wouldn't be able to make any sense of it. But I can. Just recently I've read about a certain phenomenon that contains commonalities to these visions. At a later date I will inform you about my findings. Keep me updated about my new keep me updated about any new fits you experience. And please, stay safe. It is absolutely paramount that you do. Kind regards, E.B. Oh. Okay. 
Here we go. Let's start here. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. Mmm. They were looking for something, or should I say, someone. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all Man. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Hmm. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome in this part of town. Time to figure this out. All right, time to figure this out. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all. Mm, okay. And then maybe this. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome in this part of town. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Or uh, maybe not. Or, right, um. Okay, let me go to my original theory. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal. Maybe they'll finally get it. The Order ain't welcome in this part of town. The meeting place was there we attacked. Go. Ebernote was carried off while his escort's bodies were left as a warning. Oh dear. Well, that's quite the conclusion. Oh. Leave it. Hmm. Can't help but notice that... I've only managed to collect key evidence and not all evidence. So there must be something else that I've missed. Yet again. This is an Evernote. Ah, jeez. Poor bastard. Oh. Well, there we go. It was literally staring me in the face. Alright, so... The attacker has left, left a note saying they're will, willing to kill again and that Reed Heights is under their protection. Uh, Ebernote's party was brutally attacked by a group of hooded men. Blackwood begged for his men to be spared, but none were. The meeting place in Reed Heights fell under a well-organized assault. Ebernote Blackwood was taken prisoner and his associates were massacred. The attackers did not fear the police, and this obviously wasn't their first act. They wore hoods and used knives. Apparently, they are trying to keep the Innsmouthers away from the right side of tracks. Right. Uh, Blackwood talked to Professor Doe about the nature of her visions. Abernote has studied a number of occult texts where the One Savior has been a recurring theme. Oh. Well, that's still interesting, regardless. Alright, well, we know one thing for sure now. The fish faces aren't welcome in Weird Heights. So, now what? Alright, maybe the police archives will have any clues about fish faces being attacked. Um... Victims... Instrument of Crime. There we go. Case 2329734, fel fel Felony Lynching. Suspects, Z.H. Comstock. Nice reference. C. Borshoff. Unidentified accomplices. Confirmed victims, eight males with Innsmouth Syndrome. Status closed by the by public demand. 
Category Homicide, District Reed Heights. December 9th, suspects apprehended at the Orion Club, St. Michael's Road, south of University Street, Central Advent. Ties to the KKK confirmed. December 11th, case closed by public demand, suspects released. Wow. Didn't know the public opinion mattered to the law. Well, there we go. No wonder they don't fear the police. Um. Hello? Mr. Orion? I'm here about a murder. Led to death. What's going on here? Well, I can give you a clue. Something to do with that fella. The door won't budge. Oh. Am I being herded? Die already. God's sake. <clears throat> Sit down, punk. You don't want to mess with me. Charles Reed. Oh? Um, hello. You look like you've been run over, pal. What happened? What does it look like? It was that damned prisoner. Let me guess. You mean Evernote, the preacher? I don't know. We didn't exchange business cards. One of the order. And I'm just a guard. I need a rest. And a stiff drink. All right. Do you know who's in charge here? So is there anyone around here who knows what's going on? Go ask the wizard. Upstairs. Is it... Is it getting dark in here? No, I think you're just dying, pal. You brought this on yourself when you joined the clan. Mayor, take you. Goodbye. <clears throat> oh. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? Huh. A lucky miss. Today is your lucky day, pal. I'm not gonna waste one more bullet on you. Ah, this is an Evernote. What do you want, Crow? What is it? Oh. Alright, hold on in a minute. I'm not gonna climb up there just yet. I gotta look around down here first. Man, this guy is really lucky. Uh, oh, that's just a coat. <laughs> I thought his friends were joining him for a moment there. Oh, dear lord. Is that what I think it is? Oh, man. I really don't feel sorry for this fella anymore. I can tell you that much. Still locked, huh? Well, all right then. The door won't budge. What? Oh, so I do have to use the. I do have to follow the crows for a secret way in. All right, fine. Let's go up here. Who? Okay. All right, I'm up here, Mr. Crow. Was that all you wanted to show me? Thank you for assisting me. On my investigation. 
Evernote Blackwood is behind on his rent. There have been enough warnings. Send men to make an example of his operation. Make it look good for the newspapers. They are fish faces, after all. P.S. See what he was up to while you're at it. If Blackwood's trustworthy, I'm gosh darn Teddy Roosevelt. So, this whole massacre was just... It was all about rent? Really? Must be some rent. What was he renting? The little base of operation of his? Huh. Alright. Time to go even higher up, I guess. Huh. Oh. What's that? That is not normal. Some sort of symbol. Oh dear. What on earth happened here? Looks like I missed the party once again. Oh, maybe not. Fuck off. I ain't got time for you, friend. So stop messing around with me. Oh. Yeah, this is quite the party, alright. Um. Hmm. Can't jump across for some reason. Oh. Look at these things. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. I, Evernote Blackwood, I'm innocent. My only goal is to save this city from its descent into madness and ensure the safety of Harry Ado. Huh. A confession and a nickel key. Oh. Fake your funny Blackwood. A confession. A real one. Write it down while you've still got fingers. Oh dear. Looks like Ebernode was one strong fella. He wrote a fake confession and managed to stand the torture until he managed to escape. Good for you, Ebernode. Good for you. Excuse me. Ah. I remember inviting you guys down here. Speak when spoken to, maggots. Hello? Alright, so what do we have here? Oh. Alright, back down here. So... Oh. That's not a good sign. What's gonna happen if we go up all the way up there? Do I want to find out? Not really, but... Do I want to find Ebernote? Yes, so... There we go. Where did this clown come from? Seriously? Come on, guys. I'm not looking for shooting dummies here. Just looking for answers. If I wanted bullet sponges, I would buy some. You know, from the sponge factory. Hello? 
can't just waltz in here. This club has no limits to non-members, especially you damn newcomers. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? The club is a blasted war zone. I've got wounded here, and we're all on edge. Who are you, anyway? Charles Reed, private investigator. I'm looking for one of your recent, uh, guests. Right, you mean that bloody preacher from the fish market? This is all his fault. He was the one who summoned those beasts. Summon them how, exactly? Summon them. <laughs> You're kidding me. How did he pull that off? Pull that off? Do I look like some rotten fish-faced warlock to you? How well, should I know? He just kind of. Did. And all in all that commotion, he escaped. Right. So, we are talking about Ebernote here, right? Was the preacher's name Ebernote by any chance? That's the one. We've been hunting down that slimy drock for weeks. Oh, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. And why bother? What's so special about him? He's a pain in the ass, is what? That man doesn't have any respect for the way things are done around here. Hell oh, yeah? How did he wrong you? <laughs> this should be good. So what did he do to cross you, exactly? Look around. This place is crawling with wild beasts. It's obvious he's up to no good. We'd never have known a thing about it if he wasn't behind in his damned rent. Rent. You mean racket, right? If I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like a protection racket to me. Your words, not mine. Besides, our group's gotta get funding somehow. Robes and ammunition aren't cheap. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. <sighs> so where'd he go? Did anyone see where he went? I bet good money he went back to his hideout. I'll go after him. But I have to take care of my wounded men first. So, you gonna tell me where he is? It's your life, buddy. The scouts I sent after him never came back. So who are you? Who exactly are you? You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, newcomer. Show some damn respect. Wizard, huh? Oh, why don't you show me a magic trick? Oh, a wizard. Like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drock did you just say to me? You know, a magic trick. Come on, Gord. Don't be shy. Pull a rabbit out of a hat or... Maybe a hood would be more appropriate. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel! Excuse me? <clears throat> yeah. That's what I thought. Bunch of punks. You want some too, Chuckles? Yeah, didn't think so. <sighs> Alright then. <clears throat> Hello? Mr. Ebernote? I'm here to talk. Stop it. Stop it. You're not real. Stop. Ever out. Ever out. What's going on here? There we go. Guess his next move is one of these. What the hell is this, Ever out? You in here? So 
So I guess that's what happened to the scouts. Uh, smells a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. Yeah, rotten food. Hello? All right. Um huh. smells like fish soup. Mmm. Crumpled, oh. but clean. Someone's been here recently. Interesting. The plot thickens. But what was that hallucination all about? Deep Shores Soup Kitchen, all welcome. Hmm. Huh. Smells like fish soup. Yes, thank you. Deep Shore Soup Kitchen. Man, he loves himself some Deep Shores. Alright, um... Let's go upstairs. Hello? Mr. Ebernote, I just want to talk. I promise. Um... Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. A lot more than one, that's for sure. Huh. Somebody likes to lecture. <sighs> oh. Oh. Alright. Yeah, I guess we gathered enough evidence now to, um... To start making sense of all this, as it were. Alright, let's go downstairs. Um, okay. Let's start here. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead, while I speak with the others. Oh, into the sea. Not the sea again. I don't want to go into the sea. It sucks. Um. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Uh, well, I guess I can get behind that. I suppose. Oh! Sorry. Wrong door. I can't really differentiate places in this mode. Alright. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to figure this out. Hmm. Uh, okay. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Maybe it's this, then. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Here, into the sea. I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. And then he started speaking to the others. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. He took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went. Into the sea, man. Obviously. <sighs> Alright. So, Ebernote Blackwood told his men they'd go into the sea. Whatever that means. Um. 
I found a map with several locations marked on it. Evernote took his men into the sea. Only one spot on the map is on the coast, the one in Western Salvation Harbor at the end of Pembroke Lane. Okay. The Order knew about Harriet's hallucinations and had been stalking her for some prior for some time prior to attacking the expedition. Blackwood talked to Professor Doe about the nature of her visions. I had another vision. Uh, uh, the one savior theme. Blackwood and the professor. Blackwood insisted he wanted to save the city and said the professor would help him do it. Order members have been kidnapping people and are involved in occult ceremonies like the ritual at the Orion Club. The Order is planning something dangerous, and Harriet is instrumental th to their plans. Oh. So she might be a, a necessary sacrifice. Not... So they're not here to rescue her. Well, they are. But only to have her sacrificed, maybe. Um... Blackwood wants to save the city from madness, or so he says, and Harriet Doe is essential to his plan. Mmm, okay. The rest of these clues will remain in my mind palace until I find a use for them. But for now, it's time to go into the sea. Oh, what do we have here? Perfectly intact diving suit, just for me. Must have been my lucky day. Or, I guess in a way, it must be not my lucky day. Because I'm going back into the sea. Here we go. Uh. Alright, so what horrors await me this time, I wonder? Oh look, a dead guy already. That's good news. Oh no! Got steam pockets too. Damn it. Climb, climb, quickly before the steam comes back. You idiot. Damn it, Charles. Climb. There we go. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Keep going. Oh, fuck. Okay, here we go. Alright, collect your thoughts. Repair your suit. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. Don't worry about your surroundings. Just keep going. Up, up, up. Here we go. Up. Alright. Good, good, good. Uh-oh. Mmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not looking back. Not looking back. Nope. Nope. Don't care. Don't care. I'm going home. I'm coming home. Hello. Don't mind me. Ow. Coming home. Whew. I'm coming home. Come on. Ugh. Please. Please tell the world I'm coming home. I don't even care about the steam. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. I guess it either can't climb or it already had a meal and it's not really that interested in me. All right. The hell! Jump! Jump, Reed! 
Damn it. Jump. Jump. Come on. Jump, please. Damn it. Alright, we're going this way then. Ow. Ow. Where? Where next? What are next? Whew. Oh, finally. The light. Beautiful light. <sighs> Never thought I'd be happy seeing the light at the end of a very, very deep and dark tunnel. <sighs> but I finally made it. Please don't let me go back to the sea again. <laughs> oh. Whew. Uh, I've seen Swiss cheese with fewer holes. Charles, it's only like... It's only like... Three holes. Come on. Swiss cheese has like... At least 24. Alright, so... Don't exaggerate. Not, 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 not after all we've been through. Oh, I wish I could pick up that timing gun. Oh, help you, son. Help you, son. Hello. Help you some. Ugh, these look like they'll hatch soon. Oh, what are these? Are they supposed to be eggs? Seriously? Some funky looking eggs. Hey! Can I help you some? Help you some. What do we have here? Oh, a dead end, as it were. Um, okay. Maybe we go up here first. See if anyone else needs help with something. I'm here for Professor Doe. Harriet Doe. I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you need to find her? She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. Is that so? And what purpose is that? Fill me in, then. There's obviously more going on here than meets the eye. Oh, you are correct, of course. The Professor is the one. She is all that remains of the few. Listen to me. Harriet must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen. Gifted with visions. 
visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I don't follow. Um, you talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here show the truth. I lost days studying them long ago. Right. I once served the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. Well, look, I'm not here to kill her, if that's what you're worried about. So... Can I go? In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Reed. You must not fail. Thanks. I'll do my best. Um... It's... a prison. I've seen these symbols before, but... But where? Hmm... Since dark aeons before the age of men, Cithigunar lies beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. Okay. Oh? Another piece of the puzzle. It looks like a wheel, something... something repeating, maybe. Like the seasons. Some kind of cycle. But there are those who would free the daughter, if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle of those carrying the seed are drawn to Kethugunar, driven by hideous visions. The seal of Kithugunar will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb the dreamer shall spawn once more. Alright. Sounds wonderful. Um... Hello? What's this? Professor Doe, are you alright? Alright? Uh, I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? Charles Reed. I'm Charles Reed, private detective. I've come here for some answers. Here, you'll find many answers. Everything is an answer here. And everything is in my hands now. Do you understand? Uh, this has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. Right. Go on. What is this about a cycle? It always begins with a great flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. When the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. Gates? What gates? What gates? Katiganar! The gates are not closed, the gates are not open, but they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? But the seal may close the gates, and close them forevermore. Are you feeling all right, Professor? Professor Doe, you're not making sense. We need to get out of here. Now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone! You, you don't understand. I play a part in it all. 
but only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. Well, I have visions too. I, I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has that has to be that has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, I don't understand. Th there can only be one of us. Um g give me a moment, will you? I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. Right, yeah, you do that. <sighs> okay, so... What exactly have we gotten us ourselves involved in? Is that the seal? I don't want to touch it. Because um, I don't know what will happen if I touch it. Um, so, let me just go to my mind palace. <clears throat> There's an ancient evil... There's an ancient evil below the city, and one chosen savior led to his fate by horrid visions. Conceal or free it. Ebernode has studied a number of occult texts where the one savior has been a recurring theme. The prophecy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. Those that fail will die. The prophecy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. The others will try and fail. Mm. Um. Those that fail die. Those that try will fail but won't die, so let me go with that. Um, I might be one of the Chosen. The visions led the Chosen to the city, to their destiny. They led me here too. Am I part of the prophecy? Maybe. Recently, Harriet Doe has experienced horrifying visions. Could she be one of the Chosen? Harriet Doe and I are both chosen, and if the prophecy is true, only one of us can succeed. But damn the risks. She has suffered enough already. I must save her. I Professor. We should do. Yes. If there can be only one professor... It will be me. I'm sorry. No! No, no! You can't steal my destiny from me! It's mine! Whoa. Hold on a minute. Let me let me actually rethink that again. Oh, okay, he said damn the risks, meaning, n doesn't mean, uh, doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that I should stay, it means that none of us should stay. Okay, I understand, 100%. It was a little bit confusing there, I just, I just wanted what's best for all of us, and I thought if I would sacrifice myself, and she goes upstairs and you know, away from here, then... perfect. But she doesn't like me staying here, being the chosen one, so instead of that, none of us will become the chosen one, and then we'll just... leave? Is that the consensus that we've reached? I guess it has to be. Um, Alright then. Let's go back to the professor and um, reiterate our s sta Professor? Where's the professor? Uh, 
Um, let me try an earlier save. <laughs> Why is she not here? Why didn't... Why didn't she spawn? Did the game decide she's dead now? Hold on a minute. And, okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, I don't... I, I really don't know how it's so difficult for a game in... 2019 to... Not be able to do something as simple as... Loading you back exactly where you were. But, you know... It is what it is. Okay, only one may remain. I might be chosen. Harriet might be chosen. I must save Harriet. Harriet? You know what we should do. Yes. We need to get out of here. Uh, but my work isn't finished. My mission. Good luck finishing it if you're dead. We need to get out of here, Harriet. We just need to get to the surface. Fine. Fine. We go above ground, but we need to take the seal with us. The seal is the key to everything. Alright. Yeah, I can work with that. So, how, do I just, like... Do I pick it up, or, like... Is it, like, one, two, three? And, or... Oh! Ah. Shit! Ugh. Well, I'd prefer a shot of whiskey, but that, that works. <laughs>